All right, welcome back to yet another video. This is part four of the inventory system that we are building for our third person uh, shooter game. No coffee today, this is tea. Actually, it's still the same time that I recorded all of the other videos in this. I've been wearing this shirt, so all the videos with this shirt is recorded in a row, just so you know, in case it doesn't sync with comments and stuff like that because uh, I had a day my roommates are out on dates and uh, in other countries and whatever and I'm here all alone doing unreal stuff so anyway uh, let's get into it welcome to the channel if you're new like and subscribe the video if you find it useful and leave comments for suggestions for more stuff in the video in, in, in this series in the future. So let's keep going. We have, uh, we started with our inventory system. So we can now pick up this gun and we can see that it's added to our inventory. So that's good. It's something. So in the next, uh, what are we gonna do now? Uh, we are gonna, cause there's an issue here. Uh, if we add, Let's add a couple of them. You will see what I mean. So, if I'm, oh yeah, this is gonna be annoying. Annoying uh, with the animation for prototyping purposes, but bear with me for one second. So, this is the problem. It just keeps adding children, but it doesn't really stack. You can see it's not, it's just adding children to the to, to that to the grid, but it's not really applying them to the grid. So we need to fix that. So this node should be replaced. So add child to uniform grid. And you can see which row you want to add it to. So I'm going to copy paste this from my other uh, project. There we go. Uh, and we're going to right click and create variable called, oh, sorry, this is the this is the grid and we should probably call it something better inventory grid so and this number of columns is how many columns you want in your uh, in your inventory I'm gonna set it to how many can we fit one two three four five six maybe just gonna delete new. Uh, let's go with uh, six for now, I guess. I might make them a little bit bigger later. These actually, I'm gonna do that now. Or how does it look? Uh, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, inventory slot to designer. I'm gonna go with. 90 is that too big yeah. might be a little bit too big but let's go with it for now I'm, I'm gonna do that so um, that's fine And we will do in the inventory, we're going to do number of columns. We're going to set to uh, let's see, default value is going to be five. Something smells burnt. That's not good. Uh, hopefully, it's not my flat. Uh, okay. Am I still recording? Yeah, I am, good. So, um, we are gonna set the first one is in row and the second one is in column. I can't explain this, to be honest. Uh, it's just, just works. So copy paste this. So we're gonna get the children count divided by the number of columns. And the column, yeah, just copy it. I'm hungover, okay. So, mm, nice little crash. Let's restart. Um, yeah. No, that's not 
first one. There we go. Uh, what was the crash? I should have read why the crash was happening. Was it because of this? Mm. Let's see if we crash again. Nope. Okay. So we can still pick it up. It gets added. So that's good. So I guess I actually can't know because it's a root motion animation. Why did the animation stop working? So there you can see, it's actually adding now. And if we pick this one up, oh, because that's five, six. Let's see what happens now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Didn't get them all. Uh, okay, yeah. So we need to arrange it so that it goes from top to bottom. But first, uh, didn't I do this? Is valid. Add on is valid node, so we can only destroy it if it's valid. Uh, but why did the animation stop working? That's the question. Uh, uh, because something weird happened. Create animontage. I switched the animation, so maybe that's why. Um, inputs, pick up item, and there's no animation. So, but for testing purposes, we're not gonna use the animation now because it's quicker to just uh, to just not do that. Uh, okay, so we need to in our inventory, we need to in the designer, we need to arrange this so it goes from top to bottom. And I don't remember how to do that. Let's see, let's just add um, slot. Let's just add a bunch of inventory slots. So this is gonna be row one, slot one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and this one is gonna be row one. And let's just there we go. And that's gonna be row one. Um, okay, so um, let's see alignment. Give me one second while I experiment a little bit here. All right, so let's do like this. Right click on the inventory grid, wrap with size box, perfect. And now we can align it like this instead. So horizontal and down. So it goes from the left to the right and then down. And we have five here, we're gonna do so. This is how it's gonna look. And what you, yeah. I'm also gonna do something like that. Just to create a little bit of a difference, perfect. And size to content, and yeah. So this is just gonna keep adding children now. Um, so you will just have to count your maps. Yeah, maybe we should leave it at that. Ah, yes, sorry. We need to delete all of these. Compile, save, play. And we will see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! There we go. It's aligning, so that's very nice. So. Good. Mm. And per 
perfect that's good for now I think um, what else all right so So in the slot, uh, in the inventory slot, on construct, we're going to get the details. We're going to break the details. Uh, I'm going to break the equipment details. I'm going to break the, so we have the cosmetic details here. Uh, so that's not something that we need. Uh, what we're gonna do here now is we need a reference to the icon for instance and yeah so item details show in folder so the equipment details is also gonna be I guess thumbnail oh wait don't I have that in item details item type description do I need a thumbnail for all items should we have that here let's just do that here uh, Or do yeah. Let's go with uh, let's go with a texture to the. Uh, no, let's not do it here. Let's do it in the equipment details. So texture to the item image. Perfect. So uh, in the inventory slot. We got this item in our image and we got the icon image here. Set brush brush. No. Uh, set image. Get brush. Uh, um, icon image. Image. Okay. Get image. No, I'm pretty sure it's brush. Set brush from texture. There we go. Uh, and we grab the image and we set it to the same. There we go. So that means if there's nothing assigned, it's just going to be white. So that's a white image because there's no image. But for our gun, if we edit master item, uh, we have the details, item details, and we have the cosmetic tip. Unreal Engine 5 is not, it's like it's, this is the wrong, this is a stupid layout because I can't see the name, but I can see the stuff here that I don't really need. Uh, but yeah, item image, that should be the gun icon on this one. And the name is going to be gun. This is a gun. And compile item type. Uh, item type. It's gonna be there is no okay new one and uh, there's gonna be main weapon it's gonna be secondary weapon uh, I guess it's gonna be uh, you could do let's just do outfit And the gun.
gone. Uh, where is it? There we go. And it's it's a gun, so it's gonna be a secondary weapon. So let's go with that. The main weapon is probably shotguns and rifles and stuff like that. All right, uh, and we got some compiler issues. Uh, yeah, there we go. What else? Inventory also got some compiler issues. Yeah, so right click, refresh, right click, refresh, compile again, perfect. And it's back to the gun again, perfect. So, uh, do I have something like a, yeah, item can also be obviously uh, consumable. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Main weapon, secondary weapon, outfit consumable. That is good. We are getting somewhere. Mm, 16 minutes. I think we will pause it there. And we will go ahead in the next one. Well, so thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's any question. And I'll see you in the next one.